solve this quartic equation, where, x is a real number. By expanding and rearrange the equation, we have and we label this as equation 1. This is a quartic equation, which has both integer and non-integer coefficients. So we cannot use rational root theorem to solve this equation. Then how to solve this equation? We will use the substitution method to simplify the equation first. For example, we let x equal a y plus b, where, a and b to be determined real numbers. And a does not equal zero. Then equation 1 becomes, a y plus b all to the power of 4, minus 2 root 2, times a y plus b all cubed, minus 2 times a y plus b all squared, plus 4 root 2 times a y plus b, minus 2021, equals 0. We know that, x plus y all to the power of n, is equal to, sum from k equals 0 to n, and choose k, times x to the power of n minus k times y to the power of k. By applying binomial theorem, a y plus b all to the power of 4, is equal to, a to the power of 4, times y to the power of 4, plus 4a cubed b, times y cubed, plus 6a squared b squared, times y squared, plus 4ab cubed, times y, plus b to the power of 4. a y plus b all cubed, is equal to, a cubed y cubed, plus 3a squared by squared, plus 3ab squared y, plus b cubed. a y plus b all squared, is equal to, a squared y squared, plus 2ab y, plus b squared. Then plus 4 root 2 times a y plus b, minus 2021, equals 0. Now by combining like terms, we have, a to the power of 4, y to the power of 4, plus 4a cubed b, minus 2 root 2a cubed, times y cubed, plus 6a squared b squared, minus 6 root 2a squared b, minus 2a squared, times y squared, plus 4ab cubed, minus 6 root 2ab squared, minus 4ab, plus 4 root 2a, times y, plus b to the power of 4, minus 2 root 2b cubed, minus 2b squared, plus 4 root 2b, minus 2021, equals 0. By the substitution, we have converted the original equation in x, to an equation in y. Now we want to choose the values of a and b, such that, the resulting equation in y is a simpler equation, and which can be solved easily. For example, if we set the coefficients of y cubed and y, to be 0, then the resulting equation becomes a quadratic equation in y squared. Then solving the original quartic equation is converted to solving a quadratic equation, which is much easier. By setting the coefficients of y cubed and y, to be zero, we have a system of equations in a and b. 4a cubed b, minus 2 root 2a cubed, equals zero. And 4ab cubed, minus 6 root 2ab squared, minus 4ab, plus 4 root 2a, equals zero. As a does not equal zero, so divide the first equation by 2a cubed, we have, 2b minus root 2, equals 0. We label this as equation 2. Divide the second equation by 2a, we have, 2b cubed, minus 3 root 2b squared, minus 2b, plus 2 root 2, equals 0. We label this as equation 3. From equation 2, we have, b equals root 2 over 2. Next we will check whether it satisfies equation 3. When b equals root 2 over 2, the left hand side of equation 3, equals 2 times root 2 over 2 all cubed, minus 3 root 2, times root 2 over 2 all squared, minus 2 times root 2 over 2, plus 2 root 2. Root 2 over 2 all cubed, equals root 2 over 4. Root 2 over 2 all squared, equals a half. So the left hand side of equation 3, equals root 2 over 2, minus 3 root 2 over 2, minus root 2, plus 2 root 2, which is 0. So b equals root 2 over 2, also satisfies equation 3. Hence, b equals root 2 over 2, is a solution of the system of equations. That is to say, by the substitution, x equals a y plus root 2 over 2, 
the original equation is converted to an equation without y and y cubed terms. It is a quadratic equation in y squared. As a does not equal 0. So a can take any non-zero value. We choose a equals 1. Then x equals y plus root 2 over 2. Now we can work out the coefficient of y squared, and the constant term. The coefficient of y squared, is equal to, 6 times root 2 over 2 all squared, minus 6 root 2 times root 2 over 2, minus 2. Root 2 over 2 all squared, equals a half. So the coefficient of y squared, is equal to, 3 minus 6, minus 2, which is negative 5. The constant term, is equal to, root 2 over 2 all to the power of 4, minus 2 root 2 times root 2 over 2 all cubed, minus 2 times root 2 over 2 all squared, plus 4 root 2 times root 2 over 2, minus 2021. Root 2 over 2 all to the power of 4, is equal to a quarter. Root 2 over 2 all cubed, equals root 2 over 4. Root 2 over 2 all squared, equals a half. So the constant term, is equal to, a quarter, minus one, minus one, plus four, minus two thousand and twenty-one. Which is equal to, a quarter minus two thousand and nineteen. So the resulting equation is, y to the power of four, minus five y squared, plus a quarter minus two thousand and nineteen, equals zero. M multiply the equation by four, we have, four y to the power of four, minus 20 y squared, minus 8075, equals 0. The left hand side of the equation can be factorized and written as, 2 y squared plus 85, times 2 y squared minus 95. As 2 y squared plus 85, is always greater than 0. So 2 y squared minus 95, must equal 0. That is, 2 y squared equals 95. So y equals plus or minus root of, 95 over 2. Which is equal to, plus or minus root 95, over root 2. Which is equal to, plus or minus root of, 190, over 2. As x equals y plus root 2 over 2. So x equals root 2, plus or minus root of, 190, over 2. Now we verify whether they are solutions of the original equation x squared equals root 2, plus or minus root of, 190, over 2, all squared. Which is equal to, 192, plus or minus 2 times root of, 380, over 4. Which is equal to, 48, plus or minus root 95. Then the left hand side of the original equation, is equal to, 48, plus or minus root 95 minus 2 root 2 times root 2, plus or minus root of, 190, over 2, times 48, plus or minus root 95, minus 2. 2 root 2 times root 2, plus or minus root of, 190, over 2, equals 2 plus or minus 2 root 95. 48, plus or minus root 95, minus 2, is equal to, 46 plus or minus root 95. 48, plus or minus root 95, minus 2 plus or minus 2 root 95, is equal to, 46, minus or plus root 95. 46, minus or plus root 95, times 46, plus or minus root 95, equals 46 squared, minus 95 which is equal to 2216, minus 95, which is equal to, 2021. So they are solutions of the original equation.